What's up guys? Good morning. This is Captain E3E once again with another aircraft review. Uh, Triple Seven Die Hard Forever did a review of this aircraft by JC Wings, but I'm gonna do this review as a, as a special tribute. TWA 747-131. I got this aircraft on March the 13th, 2013. From the airplane shop in Fairfield, New Jersey. Now, I'm going to give you a, a quick tour of the aircraft. Begin first with the cockpit and the PO tubes and stack ports. The cockpit windshield and windshield wipers. Now I'm going to bring along the L1 door, Transworld Airways, the four Prime Winnie turbofan engines, bring along the wings of the 747. And down towards the tail section and TWA. TWA was a flag carrier of of the United States of America at the time. The APU, the horizontal stabilizers. Now I'm gonna bring you along the port and starboard side of the aircraft. TWA livery on the tail. Bring up on the starboard side of the aircraft. And that's it. On July 17th, 1996, TWA Flight 800 departed from New York JFK on its way to Paris Charles de Gaulle International Airport in Paris, France with 268 souls on board. It took off late that Wednesday night and it exploded. Just as it was about to climb to about 13,000 feet, it exploded. As, as I'm pointing, as I'm pointing my camera towards the center section of the aircraft. This is where the explosion happened. Right there. The, the fuselage broke away. And the rest climbed to about 13,000 feet and descended. And with the engines on fire, the aircraft went, went down. Both wings broke off and was a fireball. Everyone on board died. Most of the, most of the passengers and crew that would see it in the, uh, the fuselage, some of the seats came loose, and many of the, the passengers were sent to their deaths into the, into the Atlantic, and by the time it was over, um, civilians, uh, members from the NYPD Harbor Patrol, and from the U.S. Coast Guard, was was uh, fishing out bodies out of the Atlantic, off of East Moriches, Long Island, New York, where TWA Flight 800 went down. The only thing that is left of TWA Flight 800 is just the fuselage. And... And 
every July 17th, family, families of the victims go to Virginia to place flowers on where their loved ones were see it. And it was one of the worstest aviation tragedies in, um, In record in in recording, and this video is is in loving tribute to the passengers and crew of of Trans World Airways Flight Eight Hundred. Now the the actual story goes is on July seventeenth. TWA, this aircraft right here was to depart from JFK on its way to Rome as TWA Flight 801. That flight was canceled due to issues with the weather. And it later became TWA Flight 800. Of the souls that were on board, one was a 23-year-old flight attendant by the name of Jill Semkowitz from Rutherford, New Jersey, and she was on her first flight to Paris, and she wanted to see the Palace of Versailles. According, according to her mother, Carol Semkowitz, and everyone, well, Jill perished on this flight right here, and my condolences go to the Semkowitz family on the loss of a young and and beautiful life that was cut short. <clears throat> TWA would fly the 747 up until 1998. <clears throat> the, the airline had filed for bankruptcy and was in bankruptcy protection from 1999 up until 2001. And on December 31st, 2001, American Airlines acquired TWA. And that's it. This, this was a a special tribute to the passengers and crew of TWA Flight 800, which went down on July 17th, 1996. So, I would just like to say thank you very much for watching this video. And um, this video will shortly be posted to YouTube. And like always... Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, guys, I'll see you around.